Are you battling with oily hair? If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. I'm Mike. I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal color specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, we're going to be talking about treating oily hair or greasy hair. What products you should use, what causes greasy hair and how can you stop it or if you can. So if you want to sit with me on this one, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? First of all, can we talk about something? Right, in today's film we're going to be talking about oily hair. Now, me, myself, I have very greasy hair. I have really oily skin and my scalp is quite oily and I struggle with oiliness in my hair and I find there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to greasy and oily hair and how you should treat it. But before we get into treating oily hair, we need to talk about why our hair gets greasy. Greasiness or oily hair happens due to overactive sebaceous gland. This sebaceous gland produces too much sebum which causes your scalp to be greasy. Voila! It's basic scientific explanation why you have greasy hair. It's nothing to do with washing your hair every day or being a dirty person, it's basically your sebaceous gland is overactive and it just produces too much sebum. Now, we need to determine whether our hair is greasy or we have a buildup of product on our hair because those two can be mistaken very, very easily. If you wash your hair and straight away you feel like your hair is slimy and there's something on it, you're probably suffering with product buildup. And what is product buildup? Product buildup happens when you're using cheap shampoos and conditioner and styling products in your hair. I know, I'm sorry, but that is the truth. If you're using Pantene, Tresemme or Aussie, you're probably suffering with product buildup. Those shampoos contain a lot of, a lot of bad silicones that end up building up on your hair and they give you that moisturizing, shiny look and finish to your hair, but basically it's silicone coating your hair and coating your hair and your hair just looks greasy straight away. So if that's your issue, then you're suffering with product buildup. Now let's talk about greasy hair. Greasy hair is hair that doesn't last. So for example, if I wash my hair, let's say the next day it's going to be nearly greasy. And it's not really greasy roots to ends, it's just your scalp gets greasy and then the oil travels onto your ends. So your hair is not greasy, it's your scalp that's greasy and the oil starts to travel down. So most people mainly have oily roots and normal ends. First of all, clarifying shampoo does not help oily hair. Clarifying shampoo removes buildup from your hair. So I've often seen it, people coming into the hair salon, they're like, oh, I need a clarifying shampoo. I'm like, hey, Mrs. Y, she's like, oh, just because my hair is oily. No, 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 no. We need to treat your scalp when it comes to oiliness. Clarifying shampoo is gonna clear the product buildup on your hair and impurities from your hair, but it's not gonna do anything to your scalp to help your hair last longer and to control the production of sebum. Now, a few tips when it comes to washing your hair when your hair is oily. First of all, we need to start with lukewarm water. Now, I know it may sound crazy, but first of all, cold water will not cleanse your hair correctly. And that's given. Cold water would not cleanse your hair correctly. And hot water is not gonna do too much to your scalp either. So if you're suffering from oily scalp or oily hair, I would recommend using lukewarm water. Also, when you're massaging your scalp, none of this, none of scratching and scrubbing and everything. You want to be a lot more gentler when it comes to shampoo in your hair when your hair is a lot oilier. Now, my skin is also very oily and I suffer with the same issue with my hair, but I found a few products that really helped me to battle this. But first of all, before we get to the good stuff, I want to mention one product. Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is not magic in a bottle, especially like Batiste and all those cheaper ones. They contain a lot of talc in them. And basically how that works is the talc absorbs the oil and the dirt from your hair. So what's basically happening is the talc is absorbing it, but then the talc builds up on your scalp and on your hair, which causes product buildup. So I would really be weary when it comes to using dry shampoo. Now you guys, let me present you with two shampoos and today we're just doing two because there isn't a million shampoos out there that really help to control oiliness in the scalp. Most of the shampoos are clarifying and if you're suffering from product buildup and you've been using cheaper shampoos like Pantene, Tresemme and Aussie, those are the three devils, 
you need a clarifying shampoo but if your hair is quite oily let me present you with the first shampoo and that shampoo is Pure Resource by Siri Expert. Now as you can see this shampoo is quite used and I love it and I love it and I love it. So this shampoo is especially oil controlling purifying shampoo. This shampoo contains purified water so it's going to purify the hair as well. It's going to cleanse out any product buildup on your hair. So it's really two in one. It's not only going to control the oiliness but it's also going to get away all that product buildup as well as buildup of hard water. And if you live in certain parts of Ireland, hard water is a very, very big issue. This shampoo is also going to nourish the hair, so it's not only going to control the sebum and the oiliness, but it's also going to give us nice nourishment. Now, not too much nourishment, but enough, because sometimes I find if you use a clarifying shampoo, your hair is nearly like straw afterwards because the clarifying shampoo really clarifies everything and your hair is just like a big wall. You don't get that after this. It's very gentle on the hair and I love, love, love this shampoo. Like I've been using this shampoo for about three weeks now and I mean like my hair is perfect. Like I definitely notice a huge difference when it comes to even blow drying my hair. Most of balancing shampoos like this one will also help the body so it's gonna make your blow drying a lot easier. If your hair is quite flat, I noticed this shampoo done wonders for my hair because it's not heavy and it's going to give enough nourishment to your hair. Why? Because if your hair is oily, they're not going to use anything too heavy to weigh your hair down. Now before we're going to get on to another shampoo, I want to talk about the misconception that product makes your hair greasy. Right, if you're using cheap product like we spoke about before, it will cause your hair to look dirty or will cause it look like it's greasy. Also, if you use an incorrect hair care on your hair, let's put it this way. My skin is oily, right? Imagine if I used something really, really hydrated. What is it going to do to my skin? It's going to make it shinier and oilier. It's not that the cream is bad and it's just making my skin look bad. No, I just used the wrong product. It's same with hair care. If your hair is really healthy and you're using something really, really heavy, it's gonna weigh you down. So make sure you use the correct product for your hair type to avoid lank looking hair. Cause I mean, just cause your hair is looking greasy doesn't mean it is greasy, if that makes sense. Right you guys, the next shampoo I love and I swear I'm sick talking about it on this channel, but for some of my viewers it's gonna be no surprise that this shampoo is Bandivalent by Kerastase. This is probably the holy grail when it comes to oily hair. I absolutely love this shampoo. First of all, it balances the sebum on your scalp. This shampoo contains gleason, which is amino acids, and that helps to regulate the sebum. So it's gonna slow down the process of sebum coming through it, and it's gonna control the oil, if that makes sense. Also, it contains vitamin B6, which is gonna nourish the hair and just give it a nice shiny look. And this shampoo is brilliant when it comes to body. Now, if you're looking for your blow dry to last forever, I'm not even messing. If I have a client coming in and they tell me, right, my hair is really fine, it doesn't last, it usually falls out, and I'm not joking, you get the best body and blow dry in your hair ever. So when it comes to Kerastas, like we said, Kerastas is very prescriptive. Now, it is on the pricier side comparing to your Siri Expert, but if you're a Kerastas fan, Bandivalent is just a good all-arounder. I mentioned this shampoo in my top five Kerastas, also, I mentioned it in top daily shampoos and I think this shampoo is absolutely brilliant. And if you're suffering with oily hair, this is definitely going to slow it down and it's going to help your hair last longer and not get as greasy as of. Right, you guys, when it comes to oily hair and greasy hair and how to manage it, we have to remember how to wash it. So remember, look warm water and gentle massage. Nothing too hot, nothing too hard on your scalp, nothing too cold. The right hair care. Make sure your hair care is correct. Now, if you're using too much dry shampoo, that's gonna add to the problem. If you use something that contains a lot, a lot of cheap silicone, that's gonna add to the problem. So if there's buildup on your hair, you need to cleanse it first before going in with something like Bandivalent. And then also your correct hair care. If oily hair is really an issue for you, I would probably recommend those two shampoos either or. I think both of them are brilliant. I mean, Siri Expert, I think it's nearly as good as Kerastase. Both of them do the same thing and I've noticed with this shampoo since I've been using it for the last three weeks, like 
even if I wake up the next day and I mean I put a lot of product in my hair now when I wash my hair I wash my hair I condition I put plea I put mousse I blow dry it then I put dust into it and I put hairspray like my hair should have so much build up that I should be crying and it should be greasy the next day with all the product but it's not anyways guys thank you for watching today's film i hope you found this film rather interesting helpful and useful please like share comment and subscribe to my channel also check out my other social media and of course you guys please 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 take care bye